how to create a Wix website using mobile phone. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a Wix website on your mobile phone. Either it is going to be iOS phone, an iPhone or an Android phone. So the process is going to be very similar. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over um, your phone and from here, as you can see, we are going to head over the App Store if we are on iOS and Play Store if we are on Android. And then we are going to type in or click on the search bar and type in just Wix. So we are going to click here on search and we are going to get the app. The official app of Wix is going to be Wix dash website builder. So we are going to have this app. As you can see, I have already downloaded it. It needs an update, but I'm not going to set up the update. I'm going to set it later maybe. And this is the official app of Wix. So what are we going to do is to open up the app. Normally you are going to get the um, exclamation mark and also the process to set up an account, connect an account, an email, a Apple account, a Google account uh, or a Facebook account. But I have skipped this process because I have already uh, set up my account. Now what can we do or what can we see first? So we are going to see all the websites that we have created or we have been creating. These websites, you are going to see them if we are you are going to follow our channel on the previous videos on this account. Now, let's talk about the most important thing, which is going to be creating a website. So, as you can see, we have at the button or, or the bottom here, as I click in here, create new. So, we are going to click on that button and it will load up here the Wix ADI. So either you are going to have the Wix ADI choice, so which is going to be the um, um, and artificial design intelligence from Wix. You're going to set up with the chat, uh, as you can see, by responding to some few questions or without the chat by setting up the type or the, uh, let's say, the purpose of the website. It is going to be up to you. Either way, you can go ahead and skip that and then you are going to get it into another uh, step after we have chosen the, um, let's say here, um, the uh, template. Now, what we're we going to do is to set up the website without the help of the chat. I'm going to set up without the help. Now, we are going to see the category uh, of that specific website. What kind of site are you creating? So, we are going to have here some top categories and we are going to have the search bar. You can skip that to later, but we are going to set up the category. So, for example, let's think of a category of a website, like I'm going to put here a consultation maybe website or an online store or a phone, maybe phone website. Let's type in here phone, phone accessories shop, maybe that. I'm going to have this and then we are going to click on next. Where are we going to build in this specific store so we can skip this part also, but we need it. Uh, store, it is going to be built in. Groups, as you can see, we are going to have it recommended. So you can connect people with a shared interest and get organized. You can create, for example, some events like the RSVPs, blogs. I'm going to create a blog here, bookings, for example, for appointments or Let's say here, we maybe are going to integrate some reparation or fixing services. Pricing plans, yes, why not? Maybe you are going to sell some phones with a monthly settlements. Programs, uh, restaurant orders, reservation menus, that this is not for us. So we are going to click on next. Now we are going to type in the site name, for example, Jack's phones. I'm going to add it like this and then we are going to click on let's go. Now what we're we going to do is to wait for that uh, specific website to show up here. Uh, as you can see to start designing your site go to your Wix account on desktop. That means that you are going to head over your Wix account on the desktop version and then you are going to continue that specific work. So we are going to cl click on go to dashboard and see the other options that we are going to have. And basically, this is the dashboard of that. 
these are going to be the elements that we are going to see on the dashboard or the mobile app dashboard of our Wix website. Uh, as you can see, we cannot do much from here. So we can see uh, the um, uh, site type here. I, I, we can add the product, manage the uh, products also, set up the payment methods, set up the shipping and delivery, design your website. So you need to head over the desktop. So pretty much we cannot do much in here. We need uh, or the app is going to be depending on the uh, desktop version of the uh, Wix website. So what can we add here? As you can see, we can add products, sessions, and etc. So this is every, pretty much everything. So you can uh, manage, let's say, the dashboard or the control panel of the website and not the website itself. So we are not going to see the design of that website. So you can have, for example, the mobile app. You can see here that we cannot design it or preview it yet because it is not going to be published. Now, maybe we can modify some of the features or of, uh, some of the options that we are going to see on the uh, mobile after we have published that website, but it is going to be limited. We can get the access to the analytics and we can manage pretty much something little or few um, compared to the uh, specific uh, desktop version. Now we are going to switch our uh, to our desktop and then we are going to continue the installation of that. So we are on the desktop version of our Wix website. So we are going to have it here. This is the name of the website, Jack's Phone. So we are going to select the site and then we are going to be able to design or edit that website. So basically we haven't changed or chosen anything. You're going to click on design site. We have explained all of this on the mobile version. We're going to wait for it. And then we are going to get either the help of Wix ADI, which is going to be generating a design with the AI or customizing a template. We're going to do both. We're going to try and see if we can pick up a template or a good template in here. And we're going to see. So it is going to be a phone accessory shop based on that title or type. We're going to get our website added. So, or template added, I mean. So we have this one, cell phone accessory store, accessory store, tote bag, I think. Uh, cell phone accessory store, this is something good these are those are not going to be very suitable so you can go ahead and view one of the websites from here and then you're going to put a, a make your choice i mean so as you can see this is going to be a 3d mock-up put in here here and there this is something good that i think that i will recommend if i am going to use that or work for a client on creating a website from here and i'm going to be back in just in here so i'm not going to be interested in those but i'm going to show you how we can generate a design within the wix adi we're going to get an adequate image or, or a template that is going to have everything set up so we can modify each type of let's say section or layout or design or description or type of text in that specific layout or that template that will be given or created for us by just a prompt or some adjustments like the type of the website we can change it at any moment and it will change the whole layout of that template so we are going to wait for the site brief uh, until it is going to be shown and at the end of the site brief we're going to see the website uh, showing up in here so this is the site profile Everything that is going to be bold, uh, like this site profile, site structure, site description, theme, and layout could be changed. That means then when you are going to click on it, it will take you to a menu that could um, influence or let's say affect the design of that specific template that has been uh, generated. So this is the uh, website. As you can see, the colors are chosen, services, the store integrated, everything. We have the testimonials or the print selection. And if we want to modify something like the site profile, click on here, add a logo, uh, change the site name, add a description, contact info, and etc. 
Uh, the size structure also could be changed by adding some pages. As you can see, I also have some elements here in the menu. And we have the theme. Uh, also could be added or changed by putting a prompt or some asking the AI for some examples. For the site description, it is going to be integrated within uh, the site profile. Finally, the layout also could be prompt and changed or tweaked in the design. We have at the end uh, the button of regenerating the design or tweaking it. So basically, we have concluded that the uh, creation of websites on Wix mobile or the mobile app Wix is not going to be independent from the desktop version. So we can set up the dashboard and not the website itself. It is something that it is going to be handled only on the desktop version. When you finish setting up or accepting the website, click on continue with this design, click or continue to the editor, and it will load up that specific design or website that you have integrated. And here we have it. Basically, that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.